Today's show is sponsored by the MultiorgasmicMama.com. If lack of confidence, low libido, or guilt and shame around your sexuality are the cause of your bedroom woes, you know, the hot wild sex you never have anymore, or the transition into motherhood that sucked your libido dry, let me help you get your mojo and magnetic feminine spark back. Magic, miracles, total self-love, and multi-orgasmic bliss included. See you at the MultiorgasmicMama.com. What's up, hot mamas? It's Tilly Storm here. And before I get into our topic of the day, finding your authentic sexual expression and the different flavors of sexuality, I wanted to talk to you just for a moment about the Essentially Embodied Woman giveaway because we are approximately one week away from drawing a random winner of the giveaway and a runner-up random winner as well. So if you didn't catch that announcement on last week's episode, I just want to tell you about it right now because I really don't want you to miss out on this fucking amazing opportunity. I have partnered with some fantastic ladies over on Instagram to offer you a $3,000 spot in my Essentially Embodied Woman August program. And $800 worth of prizes for myself and my partners simply for spreading our work with the world. So other than the $3,000 value spot in my group program that you get, if you happen to be the random winner, some of the $800 worth of prizes include a book bundle of all of my favorite sexuality books Uh, which is $80 value, a $50 Victoria's Secret e-gift card, a Tantric Healing Pussy and Cock Massage course bundle by my girl Sandra Denise, that's $169 value, a professional dating profile write-up to attract a high-quality partner by Claudia Lucida, which is a $200 value, and y'all, I can tell you I do the online dating, and when I finally nailed my profile down, oh my god, it got so much better. This is super, super important uh, if you're dating online to have an amazing profile. Okay, uh, don't throw up a whatever profile. I talked about that on another podcast like a long, long time ago. I have no idea what episode it is, so you're just going to have to look it up. Anyway, <laughs> another prize is a renew and recharge virtual retreat to boost your energy levels and breathe life back into your creative potential. That one is from Holy Mama, Miss Claudia Spar. She's Holy Mama on Instagram, and that's a $47 value. And then a remote healing energy session and tutorial. So she's also going to teach you how to hold your power and harmonize your energetic energetic field with Evangeline Hemmerich, which is a $250 value prize. So when you enter the giveaway at giveaway.tillystorm.com, you'll be taken to a dashboard where you can take different bonus actions to earn points. So some of the bonus actions include like rating and reviewing this podcast on iTunes. Y'all, can you believe we're on like the top rated podcast for sexuality right now? Like y'all are freaking amazing. I just want to give you all a big shout out for all of the podcast reviews that we've gotten lately. I'm so grateful for it because honestly, I've checked out a lot of the other sexuality podcasts and they, well, in my opinion, suck compared to mine. (laughs) I find that there's a lot of shallow advice out there. Um, And this one, this, you know, you know, if you're listening to me, you're clearly a person that appreciates depth and passion. And well, you know, I definitely have those things going for me. So um, I wanted to read about some of the podcast reviews we've gotten lately, just to give y'all shout outs too. but I'll, I'll do that in just a minute. But right now, uh, some of the bonus actions. So I talked about, you know, rating and reviewing the podcast. Uh, but you can also do things like join my Facebook group. You can follow me on Instagram, which by the way, my Instagram name is at Tilly.storm. I've changed it a couple times. I apologize. It's confusing. My name's changed since I started the podcast. Um, it's, it's a big deal. I know, but it's at Tilly.storm on Instagram. And there's all sorts of other ways that you can get, um, earn points and like get prizes, like a 20% off dated coupon if you get a certain number of points. So there's all sorts of cool stuff in the little dashboard. 
Uh, if you have already signed up and you're wondering how to get to it, just go to giveaway.tillystorm.com and then click on like the login and it'll bring you right to it. So the point of doing these bonus actions is that the more bonus, po the more points you get, the more likely you are to be the random winner. It's a computer generated draw. So I have nothing to do with it. Uh, <laughs> so for example, if you have like 900 points from taking the bonus actions, that means you're 900 times more likely to win the giveaway. Uh, so if you have been dying to work with me for a while and would love to be in a held 10 week container to remove all your blocks to pleasure, turn on and feeling confident and sexy in your body, or if you want some of the random runner up prizes worth $800 from our partners, then just head to giveaway.tillystorm.com and sign up now. Uh, last day to sign up is June 24th and I will be drawing the winner June 25th and contacting the winner by email to ensure that you qualify, which basically just means that you're 21 years or older, um, that you are at least six weeks postpartum by the time the program starts, that you're not pregnant or trying to get pregnant during the course of the program. Anyway, can't wait to reward this awesome community with the grand prize and the runner up prize pack. Oh, I'm so excited for y'all. And also I just wanted to take a moment to give some shout outs for the reviews lately. So some of the amazing comments we've gotten, uh, reviews we've gotten. So this is from Tony Aaron. She says, great podcast. So glad I found this wonderful, informative, supportive podcast from summer breeze 85. I love how empowering Tilly makes me feel, not just about my sensuality and sexuality, but in everyday life. I always end the podcast feeling recharged. Mm, thank you, sweetheart. Uh, from LP Cure, she says, eye-opening and honest. As a mom of two, this podcast is so needed. I put myself and my husband on a less than steamy back burner, and I'm excited to make changes Tilly suggests and teaches. Loving taking the time to listen, learn, and put it all into practice. I'll be referring for life. Ooh, amazing, Mama. Thank you. Uh, from Karina BR, she says, inspiring, supportive, and titillating. Ooh, I don't think I've ever been described as titillating, but I'll take it. <laughs> get ready to get turned on, she says. I love the casual and playful way that Tilly breaks down the science, energetics, and spiritual connections of sex with creativity and passion. I feel more connected just from listening and excited to implement the things I learn. Great ways to shift perspective and energy around complicated topics like sexual gridlock in your relationship or numbness and loss of libido. So juicy and good. Thank you for speaking directly to moms. We need this so much. Oh, you're so welcome. And yes, I speak to moms, but just know that if you're not a mom, I totally honor you. I see you. You are absolutely a part of this community. Uh, I have tons of clients that are not moms. It's just, you know, I'm, I speak from my perspective and a lot of my clients are moms. So, you know, um, if I call you hot mama, that doesn't mean you have to be an actual mom. It's just kind of, I'm, I'm Southern y'all. Like I'll call you little mama or hot mama or whatever. That's just what, that's just what I tell you. That's just what I call you. All right. From deluded 84, she says a wonderful podcast. This is such an empowering podcast to listen to as a mother. I lost myself and my spark and listening to this podcast. I'm feeling it creep back in again. Thank you. From Destiny Herald, the best thing to listen to for women, especially when I myself have insecurities. I have severe depression and hate for my body. This helps a lot to try and get rid of the insecurity I have about my body. Oh, I'm so glad that this helps. Thank you for expressing that. Sometimes, you know, this is a labor of love. It's like, I don't get any money for doing this podcast. So to hear your takeaways and how this podcast has impacted your life, like, it definitely re-inspires me every week to just get up here and share, um, you know, just to hear the value that you get just from this free content. Uh, okay. From Becca Swain, she says authentic and inspirational. I really enjoy how open the host is. I feel like I always learn something new. I found Tilly through Instagram and especially enjoyed the episode about unwanted sexual experiences. It was helpful to learn the importance of importance of being selfish when it comes to sexuality to prevent dishonoring our bodies and souls. I'm looking forward to hearing more. Yes, mama, be selfish in the bedroom. It's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. From Miss Mama Bird. I'm almost done. Yeah, we've got three more, but they're just so good. I have to share them. She says, empowered woman, 
no, Empowered Women Empower Women. This podcast is my new favorite. One listen in and I am hooked. I cannot wait to listen every single one. Oh, yay. From S. Rod 1945. Awesome info to feel like yourself again. This podcast has been so helpful with actionable advice to tap into my sensuality and sexuality. I felt more connected to myself through these practices. Oh, love it. And last one from Evangeline Hemrick, empowering, inspiring, and much needed. Thank you for lighting the way for women to step into their full goddess potential and heal our collective sexual trauma. I love this podcast and thank you for leading women to their own power, embodiment, and fulfillment. Oh, thank you all so very much. If you put a review on this podcast, I will read it out and give you a shout out too. (laughs) That's my new commitment to raters and reviewers or reviewers. Cause if you rate you, if you rate it, I won't know who you are. All right. Now on to today's topic, 10 minutes in <laughs> how to find your authentic sexual expression and the different flavors of sexuality. Well, first of all, it's important that you all know that it is my core belief and teaching that all women have a natural original sexual essence that they came to this earth with a juicy, alive, radiant, vibrant, sexuality, that every human, not just women, but every human came here completely sexually whole and orgasmic. And that it is only the conditioning that we got raised with and the traumas that happen over time. And this can be big T traumas and little T traumas, little T traumas being like the subtle things, the things that didn't get said, the things that didn't happen or even small things that did happen that weren't a really big deal, but they happened a lot over time. Uh, So that, you know, it's just this conditioning and these traumas that happen over time that cut us off from our original sexual essence so much that we don't know who we are or what we want as sensual sexual beings anymore. And this is why many of the women that join my programs often find that they don't really know who they are sexually or what they want. And because they don't know who they are or what they want, they definitely don't know how to ask for it because they don't even know what the hell they want or who they are as a sensual sexual being. And I just wanted to explain to you several of the ways that your authentic sexual expression gets covered up over time. Because like I said, you came with an authentic sexual expression that is your natural original sexual essence that you came here with. And it is only the shit that's happened over time. That's covered it up. And here's some of the reasons that it gets covered up. The first thing is assuming that there's only one way to be or express your sexuality. And this often comes from media and that would include porn, (laughs) but it doesn't have to include porn, but just things that you see in the media Uh, portrayed on TV and magazines, all of that sort of stuff is that we just assume that you have to look a certain way and dress a certain way that you have to be loud and flashy, that being a sexual woman means you have to be loud and orgasmic and you've got to have big tits and you've got to have a perfect supermodel body and you have to be able to orgasm on demand whenever your partner wants you to, or definitely in less than seven minutes. (laughs) Guys, I laugh at this shit all the time. You know that the the average couple has sex for less than seven minutes. Do you understand that? But it takes a woman's body at least 30, more like 45 minutes to fully open up to her full pleasure capacity. So uh, it's just interesting that the way that women's sexuality gets portrayed in our culture is, oh my God, so inconclusive of what our sexuality can look or be like and that what you think sexuality is is probably has nothing to do with and it is nothing like what your authentic sexual expression might be so let me tell you there are some women on this planet that are loud and flashy and they're extremely orgasmic and they can have orgasms in less than seven minutes maybe that's maybe maybe i'm one of those women (laughs) fuck man (laughs) but that is not That is absolutely not the, the only way to express yourself sexually. That is not the only way to be sexual. 
Okay, so that leads me to the second way that your authentic sexual expression gets covered up. It's by assuming that there's only one flavor of sexuality. This one is big because we often assume that there's only one way to be sexual when there are many different ways to be sexual. And I'm going to give you some examples in just a minute so you know what some of the other options might look like or the other flavors. So just think of lollipops, the freaking dum-dums, right? There are so many flavors of them. Uh, and when you think of a dum-dum, you don't think of just like, I don't know, maybe you think of one type or one flavor. I think of the freaking root beer ones. God, who doesn't like the root beer ones? Aren't they so gross? Ugh, I hate the root beer ones, <laughs> but the root beer ones are very unique and they have their... <laughs> I don't personally like them, but I'm sure there's some of you out there that love the freaking root beer dum-dums, okay? Uh, so it's just like flavors of sexuality. There are different flavors in the sexuality realm, and they can range so vastly and be so different. So let me enlighten you for a moment, okay? The the, the thing we think sexuality is being sexual, like expressing your sexuality to most of us means that we have to be loud and flashy. We have to wear super sexy lingerie and high heels. Blech. That is one freaking lollipop flavor. It might be the favorite flavor of most people, but it is not at all all of the flavors. So other flavors can be like a sweet and innocent flavor. Some women are just naturally shy and reserved and Maybe that is really just your authentic expression is to be a sweet and you have a sweet innocence about you. Um, and then another one is angelic and motherly. Now, some of these, hmm, okay, so I, I hesitate even going on about it because I don't want you to think that just because you are one flavor of sexuality doesn't mean you don't get to be any of the other ones. Do not pigeonhole yourself into one of these flavors. Okay. I don't want you to make that mistake. So there you get to pick who you want to be, what flavor you want to show up as every single time that you have a sexual encounter. So don't limit yourself to being just one of these flavors. You can be all of them if you want, or you can just be the one. It doesn't fucking matter. Uh, so angelic and motherly. Okay. There are a lot of women who really identify with that, you know, uh, motherly role or, you know, I, I don't get this one, to be honest with you. This is one I have to try on. I have to try this one on and I play with it, but it's challenging for me because for me, mother being motherly and sexuality for me just don't really work. But for some women that could work. Um, another flavor is to be awkward and silly guys. I am awkward as fuck and I'm really silly. I laugh all the time in sex in sex. So this is one that really comes natural to me is that I have this flavor of sexuality. That's really awkward and I can be super silly and, and very easily excitable, um, and, and do some really weird things. So <laughs> Awkward and, and silly is a flavor of sexuality. Then there's kinky and raunchy. Who's kinky and raunchy? I want I want to meet some of y'all kinky and raunchy bitches. I don't know enough kinky and raunchy bitches. Um, <clears throat> this one's fun. I'd say I can get pretty raunchy sometimes, but kinky, I don't know. I don't know about kinky. Uh, so this is a flavor that some women freaking love. Okay, and then there's badass and dominant. So maybe you like being dominant in your sexuality. Maybe you're a freaking badass and you like to wear leather. I don't know. Like some people like that. And that's another flavor of sexuality. Then there's tantric and surrendered. Mm, now, you know, I love this one. <laughs> I love the tantric and surrendered sexuality. And there's certain ways of having sex that I feel more easily able to tap into that flavor of being completely surrendered. Like, for example, I have a sex swing. And the sex swing makes me feel extremely surrendered and I can surrender fully. And it's the easiest way for me to tap into that tantric and surrendered flavor. And then there's peaceful and meditative. So your sexuality could be just really meditative. Like you've just discovered, uh, the God or goddess inside of you. And you're just in awe, you know, it can be awe inspiring and meditative. Then there's primal and wild. Ooh, this is another flavor of sexuality that I super enjoy. Um, I love wild primal sex practices, uh, that 
you know, and JDEG practices, there's some that I teach y'all in my group program. And then in my tantric sex for couples, there's some that I teach my couples in that. Uh, then there's playful and fun. So maybe that's a flavor of sexuality you really vibe with is just being playful and having fun and being spontaneous. Uh, maybe you like having sex outside. Mm. Who's done that one before? Uh, okay. Pleasure filled and soft. Maybe you're just really easily tapping into pleasure and you feel soft. So there are so many different flavors of sexuality, but assuming that there's only one flavor of sexuality, well, definitely that would make sex really boring and it would give you no room to grow and evolve as a sexual being. So just knowing that there are other flavors and you don't have to choose the same one over and over again, you don't have to pigeonhole yourself into one sexual identity. You get to become empowered to choose other identities by breaking out of the conditioning that has kept you either locked into one or identifying with one because it feels safe. So I've, I've said this before on the podcast, but what happens to human sexuality over time when, especially when you're in a long-term relationship is that the, uh, that what you feel safe doing in your relationship, the fence, (laughs) the fence can be really far and wide in the beginning. And as time goes on in the course of a relationship, that fence will often, Uh, become smaller and smaller and smaller until you've pigeonholed and trapped yourself into a sexual identity and you feel like you no longer have a choice to choose a different identity. So creating the safety around being able to express any of these forms of sexuality and finding which one feels good in the moment for you is key. Okay, the third and last reason why uh, your authentic sexual expression gets covered up is because of past negative experiences or having expressed a part of your sexuality that you perceived that you perceived as not receiving love, safety, or belonging in, or you outright did not receive love, safety, or belonging. Okay. So, which is really just a projection of your own level of self-acceptance or your own level of judgment around your sexual expression. So I remember being in my early 20s and having so many judgments about uh, how I looked having sex or how my boobs moved during sex, feeling like super and unconfident and having thoughts like, am I doing this right? What do I look like? Do I look okay? And feeling like it was basically a performance for my partner and it had nothing to even do with me. And even though my partner never told me that he didn't like my sexual expression, I perceived that he didn't like it because of the lack of self-acceptance I had for my own expression. So do you see that? How it sometimes it does not matter what the partner does as long as it's a perceived expression uh, or a perceived lack of love, safety, or belonging for self even that can affect you not expressing your authentic sexuality. So I perceived that he didn't like it because I didn't have an acceptance in my own sexuality. He never said that, but I made it up. I made up a story in my head about how he did. He must not like my sexual expression. So therefore there's something wrong with me. And I got looped into that story over and over again. So the mind can be pretty crazy at times. Like it's, and this is why it's so important to bond with your body mind, to make peace with that inner critic inside, uh, to learn how to get out of your head and sex. So you can actually enjoy it. And these thoughts don't run your experience of your sexuality anymore. So when you lose touch with that authentic sexual expression, the work then lies in how to uncover it. And that's where healing and integration come into place and where, you know, a supportive container to go deeper becomes necessary because I hear y'all all all the time. You're like, Oh, I've read so many books. I've listened to so many podcasts. Um, I've been to a therapist or counselor, but you still feel like you haven't really gotten anywhere (laughs) with your sexuality. Like, Every part of your life is great, uh, but there's this this one part of your life that feels like it's missing or like you're missing out on it. Your desire is just gone. Like that lack of creativity and joy in life is just freaking gone. Well, I hear you, mama. Sexuality is usually the last place any of us want to go to feel like a whole 
a live and joyful human being because there's so much shame and judgment around it that it can seem overwhelming and scary to go there. But I'll tell you, there's no fast track to healing and integration like going for the source of all pain and repression, female sexuality. Okay, this, that is the source of almost all pain and females is that you can do all of this other work in other areas of your life, but until you go for the thing that has been, I mean, literally patriarchy has just done everything to keep us repressed in our sexuality because it is our most powerful uh, asset as women. Female sexuality runs the world, whether or not you want to believe it or not, it does. And men have wanted to control our expression of it because they know how fucking powerful it is. So if you want to find that and unearth your authentic sexual expression and come out on the other side feeling completely confident and comfortable in your own skin, knowing what you want and what you like and asking for it, then you're going to have to go deeper than reading books, listening to podcasts and going to talk therapy. Uh, That's, you know, a lot of people have done those things and they don't get the results they want um, because it's not deep enough. You have to heal at the level of mind that the wound was made on and all sexuality and relational wounds get imprinted on the primal and limbic brain. So that's why going to therapy and talking about listening to books and podcasts, well, I I can only enlighten you on why the things are happening the way they are, but I can't give you the how until you actually do the friggin' work. Um, So the path to get to where you want to go is deeper work than reading books and all that stuff. So it's embodiment. It takes embodiment. That means going to your body and feeling all the things that you don't want to feel because you got to feel it to heal it. It takes doing embodiment practices, the breath work, the nervous system release and rewire, working with the nervous system, the jade egg practices, and going and healing those inner childhood wounds, the mother-father dynamics. And doing the mindset work to truly unearth your authentic sexual expression and your original sexual essence. There's just no other way around it. And that's why we, you know, that's like what we do in my 10 week sensually, sensually embodied woman Jada group coaching program. Uh, the next round starts the week of July 27th, 2020. And now through June 24th, you can enter for the giveaway for a chance to win a $3,000 value spot in the program by signing up and entering at giveaway.tillystorm.com. Or if you just want to go and apply for the program, you can do that at themultiorgasmicmama.com forward slash sensually dash embodied dash woman and get your application call scheduled no later than July 22nd. All right, lovelies, thank you so much for joining me today and learning about the different flavors of sexuality and how to unearth your authentic sexual expression. Here's to the journey of finding your sad mama. 